walk with me through my neighborhood and come spend a day in my trail. Get your paper right a day, yeah, some good, but just keep a tool in your lair. My little partner holding that word, nigga won't wait to keep around bad. Better not violate on my trail. What's up, guys? Chelsea here, Z Crowley Experience. Alright, uh, what I am trying to talk about today is we got training camp coming up next week, less than seven days, fellas, uh, actually about five days from now. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we get to see uh, a little bit of what Kellen Moore's been doing. Uh, hopefully, we get to see how good Dad or yeah, Dax doing. And most importantly, we're going to see if Zeke shows up. Uh, I think he can hold out, but I doubt he will. Uh, he still has two years on the contract, so there's no rush to pay Zeke. The ring's blown the fuck down. Like, sorry about my language, but calm down. You guys are blowing this way out of proportion. All it was is some clickbait BS, and you guys all bought into it. Uh, I have yet to hear from Horses Mouth, and I have still yet to hear from NFL.com. So, uh, all this is a bunch of people chattering, trying to get you to talk about it, trying to get you to click to their website so they can get ratings and get paid. Uh, Slow your roll, alright, uh, I've seen too many people talk about this, and, oh, well, what if he does this, oh, we should trade him, oh, well, we should do this, oh, well, you guys need to sit down, alright, there's a reason why people get paid to do what they do in the NFL, and you do your job, okay, you didn't make it there, obviously for a reason, uh, they made it there for a reason, alright, so, I trust that there will be a deal done, but I doubt it's gonna be as fast as you guys want it to, so get the fuck over it. Like, I don't know what to tell you, shut the fuck up, Google. I swear, every time I try to do something, Google be trying to get up in my business, you know? <laughs> every time, I can't even talk, like you say anything relative to it, and my phone's clicking, you know? Well, no, actually. But uh, <laughs> either way it goes, I doubt we'll see a holdout. I highly, highly doubt we'll see a holdout. If you live in Illinois and you're a Bears fan, they're going to be in Decatur, I think, today. So, get your guys up there, get us up the sign. I don't know if you're a Bears fan, I don't know. My son is. I don't know where it went wrong. And I don't know. You know he turned gay somewhere along the way. I'm not saying that he is gay. I'm saying he's gay because he's a Bears fan. You know? If you guys didn't get it, now you do. If you still don't get it, look it up because I'm tired of explaining to idiots. Alright, but uh, as far as it goes, uh, Everybody I've seen on this topic, really, they just, they don't know what to say. Alright, you got the leading rusher, two out of three years, we're in three out of three years, everybody can see that. Uh, he's not injury prone. He doesn't want to go anywhere else. He does a very good job for us. Without him, we are garbage. That's the one thing that we want to submit. We suck noggy balls when Zeke ain't on the field. Alright, you guys don't want to admit, oh, well, we can do this, oh, we, what the fuck did we do then? Why we miss playoffs? Because if Zeke was in there, I guarantee we would miss the playoffs in 2017. There's no way it was going to happen, alright? Now, that being said, he's just as important as Dak, alright? You guys are all thinking, you know, Amari and Dak need to get paid first. No. no. Dak, he needs paid, alright? Amari's got to be paid by the end of the year. Zeke doesn't need to be paid for two years, alright? Calm down. Calm down. You guys have no idea who we're getting rid of before the season starts. That can clear up cap space. Alright? You guys really don't understand the cap in the first place, so please just stop talking about it. And I know there's going to be people down here talking about, oh, well, I know this, well, I know that, and you don't know shit, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't know a thing. Unless you're the one sitting in there with the contracts, you don't know nothing. Alright? I don't know nothing. I know. The Cowboys have always been 20 million over the cap to where we're in debt. Like, you know, we can't, we're 20 million over. All right? Every time we are, we end up signing somebody for like $100 million. Dez was like 85, 60 something guaranteed. We were broke as shit when we signed him. All right? Every time we pull this off, we want to whine, bitch, and cry about it. And then when we get rid of the player after a couple years, you guys want to whine, bitch, and cry even harder. All right? So get over it. Just get over it. All right? If you're not a true fan, Get out of here. You guys go read for the Redskins, the Giants, the Browns. I, mean, I guarantee half y'all motherfuckers are gonna jump off this wagon and jump straight on the Browns bandwagon and let them win three games. Y'all motherfuckers be static. Don't even know what the fuck to talk about. Every time, every time it happens just like that. But 
either way, sorry about the language, but you guys are really getting on the nerves with this bandwagon BS. Half y'all don't even know how to spell bandwagon. The other half of you don't know what it means. I mean, just calm down and get up off of it. I mean, if you're a true fan, you're a true fan. All right, I've been a true fan since 96. All right, that's that's when I can remember being being a fan. I can remember being a fan, watching with my dad and stuff, but I didn't truly understand football, you know, when they were winning the Super Bowl, so I really didn't understand it. So I've been a fan since we were little. All right, I've never changed. I've always ripped a star. My hat never changes, never. I'm about to get a tat of the greats, and if y'all wonder who they are, you need to find another team. <laughs> you don't know who the greats of the Dallas Cowboys are? Get out of here. Like, we're done talking. But anyway, if you do, you'll understand. And I'm actually getting jerseys and like gear. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope to have. I'll show you guys when it's done. Uh, make sure you hit up my guy Billy B. All right, Illuminati Studios. That's in Springfield, Illinois. Hit that up, Capital City. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Thanks, Billy Bank. All right, Illuminati. Anyway, uh, now <laughs> on to Dak. All right, you guys. He shouldn't get paid this, he shouldn't get paid that. Shut up. Shut up. Because you shouldn't get paid this, you should get paid that. I'll tell you right now, half you motherfuckers probably work at McDonald's. The other half probably work at Steak and Shake, alright? And you guys are trying to get $15 an hour to fuck up my salad, alright? You guys can't make a salad right, but you want $15 an hour. Get the hell out of here with that, man. I'm going to pay you no $15 an hour, and if they do, it's stupid. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, I've worked physical labor my entire life. It took me so long to get up to like 15 an hour. So long, alright? And, uh, my job didn't require pull up to the next window, please. And somebody will bring me your food to hand to you. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do it. You know, my job is to stand here. And my job is to give you a place to live, to provide you shelter, you know? Keep a roof over your head, floor under your feet. You know, the whole night, alright? I don't even fix your cars with it. Like, that's what I do, okay? So, if I didn't get 15 an hour for like 10 years, <laughs> come on, man. Like, when I started doing physical labor, I started at $6 an hour and worked my way up very slowly, very slowly, alright? Now, that being said, you guys are complaining about the wrong stuff, man. About the wrong stuff. All right, because y'all want paid, right? But y'all say you want my quarterback paid. But he hasn't been injured in three years. He hasn't missed a game in three years. He's whooped the hell out of every quarterback that you guys put above him in the past three years. So, I mean, what else does he have to do? He's beat Wentz, I don't know how many times. He's undefeated against Kirk Cousins. Eli Manning's only beat him twice. And that's because their defense was horrid. Like, they was tearing my book apart. And we didn't have the receivers we got now, all right? That can't do it all, all right? No quarterback can do it all. Look at Tom Brady. He needs Gronk. Sonny Michelle saved his ass all season, all right? Don't believe me? Go look at the tape. I'm tired of arguing with you. Just go look at the tape. But uh, anyway, that being said, man, like, Zeke could get paid at the end of this year. And it'll be fine. He's not gonna hold out. None of that's gonna happen. It's all chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. Right? No reliable source has come out and said for sure he said this. So, y'all can get TMZ'd all you want. I'm not that stupid. Maybe you are. Maybe your homie is. But I'm not that damn stupid. Right? Zeke's not holding out. Alright, if he was gonna hold out, he would have held out in voluntary OTAs. <laughs> you guys are massively like you guys are way on the wrong page alright you guys you guys is on the wrong boat all together alright forget about a wagon y'all motherfuckers rode the wrong boat y'all going the other way you know what I'm saying y'all going to like Okinawa and stuff you know we're up here in the US and you guys are way the hell over there you don't know what the hell is going on where you're at what happened that's just the way it goes <laughs> alright he's not going to hold out if he would have hold out he would have already been doing it they would have already been all through the national media. The newspapers would have been writing about it. You'd have seen it everywhere. All right, why? Because this is America's team, homie. This is how it works. 
America's team is seen by everybody. Everybody in the whole world, bro. Like, we have the biggest fan base in the world. It's not in the U.S., in the world, all right? The faster you guys figure this out, the better. All right, so now if something drastic happens with the biggest fan base in the world, you're going to know. The biggest team, the most recognized franchise in all the world, all sports, all right, you think, you think this wouldn't be talked about? You honestly think it wouldn't be talked about. It'd be swept up under the rug, man. He nudges somebody with his shoulder. It makes national news. Satellites are linking up and out of space, trying to send it to other universes because they watch the Cowboys too. That's just the way it goes, bro. If something that drastic were to happen, everybody would be notified and there would be press conference after press conference after press conference with Jason G, Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, you name it, Will McClay, you have. They'd even put in uh, Kellen Moore. They'd be putting his ass up on blast. Because the way it goes is when you have like one of the best players in the NFL, all right, you got the top five players in the NFL, and one of them is definitely going to be Zeke. Period. I don't give a shit who else you got on there. All right. When you have somebody of that caliber, you don't quit on them. You don't tell them to go at themselves, especially when they've been nothing but productive. All right. I've seen this motherfucker say his yards were declined. Excuse me. Excuse me, Pimmon, have you watched? I still think he hit the lead, led the league in uh, rushing yards last year. Touches. He got the hell knocked out of him and never came out. We sat him for one game. One game. And we didn't even need to. And he came out the next game, fired up and ready. So, all I can say is, you give up that guy, you gave up a good 30 year fan. Because most of them are here because of that guy. Alright? The rest of them are here because of Dak and Warren, most likely. You know, because Big Wiz going. And you got D Law and, you know, Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith. Those are really the main people that people come to watch. Alright? They make money. What's Jerry Jones all about? Making that money. So, that being said, calm down, Wu Saw. All right, we get training camp next week, or this week, actually, this Friday, this Thursday and Friday, the I mean, first day. So we will know within four to five days if Zeke's going to show up or not. Let's hope he does. I know he will. You guys might be up in the air about it, but Gary and ST, Zeke will be standing right next to Dak as soon as training camp starts. Mark my words, all right? But anyway... <clears throat> That's all I got for now. Uh, my asshole neighbor started mowing his fucking grass at 6.30 on a fucking Sunday. He's lucky I don't go shoot his goddamn lawnmower to where he can't be mowing no more. I'm tired of that shit. An old drunk ass. Yeah, he's a drunk too. And uh, this motherfucker take four weeks to mow his goddamn grass. And then the motherfucker come out on a Sunday. 6.30 in a Really? Come on, dog. Really? Fuck out of here with that nonsense. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace. Spend a day in my trail. Get your paper right today. Yeah, some good, but just keep it tuned to your left. My little partner holding that word. Nigga won't wait to keep it round bad. Better not violate my.